All right, Glass, welcome back. We are beginning our unit on Native Americans. We, we talked about the colonial period, and now we're taking kind of a step back from that. We're going to talk about Native Americans. We, did, we ended with the French and Indian War, which was with Colonial America, which was part of the Native American unit or unit, but, and we're going to take a step back and we're talking about, we're going to talk about some famous Native Americans. We're going to talk about the different tribes and that they were here before the colonials came and, and took over before, you know, they were the first people, they were Native Americans and, uh, or indigenous peoples. So, uh, that's what we're talking about today. And we're going to do a whole unit on Native Americans. We're going to talk about their culture. We're going to talk about the different things, the different tribes, and uh, the, the famous people, and just you know their way of life before before we came and colonized America. So, uh, and that's what we're talking about. So here we go. And like I said, the the first people that lived in the land were called indigenous peoples, and these were Native Americans. Uh, that means they were the original original settlers. Uh, and the Native Americans are indigenous people of the United States where we live today. Indigenous peoples. The first people to live in the land are called indigenous peoples. This means they were the original settlers. The Native Americans are the indigenous peoples and cultures of the United States. So sometimes these people are referred to as Indians uh, or American Indians. And it's because when Columbus came and when he was doing exploring, he came, he thought he had landed in India. And so he thought he had sent, sailed all the way to India, to the country of India. And so he started calling the locals Indians and the name stuck for some time. And uh, it's not the proper term for it, but that's why they're sometimes called Indians. American Indians. Sometimes these peoples are referred to as Indians or American Indians. This is because when Columbus had first landed in America, he thought he had sailed all the way to the country of India. He called the local Indians and named Stoke for some time. All right. So, so the Native Americans, they lived throughout North and South America. Uh, in the United States, there were Native Americans in Alaska, Hawaii, mainland U.S., U.S., United States. And if you look here, this is all the different uh, tribes or nations of the Native Americans uh, in the picture, uh, but but different tribes and cultures lived in different areas. And the middle country lived the Plains Indians. They had tribes such as the Comanche and the Arapo. And in the southeast of the country lived tribes such as Cherokee and Seminole. The Cherokee uh, were a big part of of North Carolina, so uh, where, where we live. Where did they live? Native Americans lived throughout North and South America. In the United States, there were Native Americans in Alaska, Hawaii, and the mainland of, U of the United States. Different tribes and cultures lived in different areas. In the middle of the country lived the Plains, Plains Indians, including tribes such as Comanche and Arapo. In the southeast area of the country lived tribes such as Cherokee and the Seminole. So, uh... The Native Americans were grouped into tribes or nations, usually based on the area they lived in. Uh, sometimes small tribes were a part of a bigger tribe. So, and, uh, and as best as historians can tell, these tribes were, were fairly peaceful with each other prior to Columbus coming, and then the rest of the Europeans coming after Columbus, after Columbus opened the gateway for colonization. Native Americans were grouped into tribes or nations, usually based on the area they lived in and their culture, such, such as their religion, customs, and language. Sometimes smaller tribes were part of a bigger tribe or, or nation. As best as historians can tell, these tribes were fairly peaceful prior to the arrival of Columbus and the Europeans. All right. So there were hundreds of tribes throughout the United States, and when Columbus first arrived, and many of them were well known, you had the Cherokee, you had the Apache, you had the Navajo, Navajo, and uh, like I said, there were hundreds and hundreds of tribes throughout the throughout the nation. And uh, these are some some of the North Carolina tribes here. We had Cherokee, Catawba, Sherall, Sapani. You know, uh, you had some of these over here at the at the coast of North Carolina. So the, the, they were everywhere. They were Native Americans. 
continue. There were hundreds of tribes throughout the United States when Columbus first arrived. Many of them are well known, such as the Cherokee, Apache, and Navajo. All right. So Native Americans didn't typically, they didn't write down or record their history. So you have to find out about it in other ways. You know, you got archeologists, they come and dig up stuff, artifacts that, about past cultures and uh, much of what we know comes from that uh, or the first Europeans to arrive that wrote down stuff about what they saw. And uh, there's also stories that's passed down from generation to generation that you can learn from about about different tribe members and different different uh, Native Americans that have passed down everything. How do we know about their history? The Native Americans did not write down or record their history, so we have to find out about their history in other ways. Today, archaeologists are able to learn a lot about their past cultures by digging up artifacts such as tools and weapons. Much of what we know comes from the recordings of the first Europeans to arrive. We can also learn from traditions and stories that have been passed down within the tribes from generation to generation. So. Today, you know, Native Americans today, some of the descendants of the original Native American Indians live on reservations. Uh, and reservations are areas of land that were set aside specifically for Native Americans to continue their culture and continue their way of life. And uh, it helps protect their heritage, their culture. But there's only about 30% that live on reservations and the rest live outside of re reservations just like all of us do. Native Americans today. Today, some of the descendants of the original American Indians live on reservations. These are areas of land set aside specifically for Native Americans. This helps to protect their heritage and culture. However, only around 30% live on reservations. The rest live outside the reservations, just like anyone else. All right, so we got our comprehension question. What country are Native Americans indigenous or native to? A, the United States, B, England, or C, C, South Africa. It is A, the United States is what Native Americans are, are indigenous to. That means they, they were here first. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number two, what country did Christopher Columbus think he found? What did he think he found when he came? Was it A, France, B, India, or C, Russia? It was B, India. That's why they nicknamed, he nicknamed or, or thought he was in India. So he named the Native American people Indians and the name kind of stuck. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number three, where did Native Americans live? A, in Antarctica, B, in North and South America, or C, Europe? They lived in, in B, North and South America. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Four, how many Native American tribes were there in the United States? A, one, B, 1,000, or C, hundreds? There were hundreds of Native, Native American tribes that were all over the United States. Ding, 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 we have a winner. And our last one, where do some Native Americans live today? A, on reservations, B, New York, or C, Canada? Some of the Native Americans still live on reservations today, but there's only about 30% that live on reservations. The rest, the rest are out just like us. They live out in, in, uh, in our culture. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. All right, class, that is all today. Be sure you go on Schoology and, and go back over these, turn it in so you get credit and, uh, I will see you all next time. We'll be talking about famous Native Americans. So uh, you all have a good day, and I will see you then.